Hello gang, welcome to the channel and here we are today with this X of Sword system. We're here to go through uh, sword by sword and see what's the negative and basically the positive of this update and the swords, you know, how they help your account and how you can manage uh, the swords and how you can manipulate the stats you're getting when you're building your swords. It's a guide that uh, can, you know, can go you into PV or PVP. Uh, swords can make your account more durable for PVP or more, you know, uh, damage with more damage for PV. And let's go to see how you can separate your swords and how you can make your swords have damage or have damage reduction, has pierce reduction or has instinct. So depending on what you're you going to pick up, you're going to get the similar stats. So before we go through that, I want you to make sure that you have subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to get all the awesome content of, from the channel, stories, live, I mean, shorts, lives, videos, community posts, and all this stuff. And of course, smash the like button and let me know down below in the comments how you build your shorts. And for your own information, this is completely free to play. And let me show you what you need to do day one, in my opinion, if you want to have multiple swords and go there and build your swords with the way you want. So first of all, I get multiple messages from this for this thing. And I did it myself from others, you know, but uh, pretty much you want to go into the new game mode First thing you want to go into the game, the new game mode, Otherworld Battle. By the way, I'm a challenger without even playing. I just saw that I'm a challenger, and uh, look at this. Uh, all the work is is doing the defense. I'm doing defense, and I'm <laughs> I'm doing so much victories, so many victories. Look at this. Last time I was like 2,900 when I fall asleep. I mean. I have played only uh, 18 wins, nine defense, that nine defeats. So in total, I haven't played a lot of games, but I managed to be a challenger. Uh, I don't have uh, buy the battle pass and the stuff you know from here. Uh, I just you can see the rewards are locked for me, most of them. And the point here is to go and buy on the battle shop five random buffs. I spent all the tokens. I, I was planning to go for uh, carbonadium and stuff like that. But if you go and buy five random buffs, of course, you're going to figure out yourself. You know, there is a buff here giving you. I bought myself five different buffs. Uh, let me show you. Okay, uh, I can see here the buffs. Yeah, I bought these different buffs and when you do buy the buffs, you're unlocking a challenge uh, which is on the seasonal challenge and on the seasonal challenge, when you do unlock this, uh, you're there giving you, you know, a lot of swords, a lot of swords and a lot of uh, the other thing, this material, you're getting like 100 of the runes and 50 or 60 of the swords so you can have multiple of these rewards and participate into the game so just going there and buying five buffs you are unlocking this achievement and you're getting multiple swords and now when you have multiple swords how can you manipulate these swords okay first of all depending on the color you're getting different buff from this here so if you have one sword that it's orange and uh, the orange sword gives you this buff. I have only two of this buff. Why? Because I have only two purple gems, on uh, two uh, orange gems on my orange sword. So the goal for everyone, it's like how it is for cards that if you have three blue, you're getting 5% pierce. This is exactly the same. When you have like, I, I was, uh, this is completely random, basically, I'm gonna show you how you build your swords later on, but at the moment, this orange sword gives me only two different orange gems. As you can see, I wasn't that lucky, I get only two different uh, orange gems. Because I took only two different orange gems, I have 5% physical attack. So, 
the orange sword with the orange gems gives you physical attack. So if you want to have maximum physical attack, there is only one way. You want two swords and you want one of the swords have two uh, orange and the other have four orange or have three orange in the one and three orange in the other. Uh, exactly the same thing I did with my purple swords. As you can see, my purple swords are three different purple swords and they have two gems each, two gems of purple each. That's why I have level six. So one level equals to one gem of your color you have to choose, but only count the swords that you have. As you can see, I have some purple here but uh, uh, this thing is not counting here. As, as you can see, I have orange here. There is one orange here, one orange here, or one orange here. I'm not getting anything on, on them. You get the gems only if you have them equipped on the sword you have. So as you can count, count here, I'm using two blue swords. The one of the blue swords got three blue and the other got two blue. That's because I have five buffs of the dexterity. So instinct attack, in attack increased by 2000. Psionic uh, gives me the 15% energy attack and strength gives me 5% physical attack. So that's why my buffs in total looks like that. This is exactly the percentage that I have from the purple bars and the rest of the buffs are completely random. You can manipulate only these buffs here. As long as you build your sword, you can go there and uh, swap the stats of the sword. The mastery effect is, um, you can go for a high mastery effect the more three times you have uh, gems on your sword. So the only good sword potentially that I have crafted yet is this blue one because it's blue one and gives me three blue stats. If you get three blue gems, basically stats or gems, from one sword, that's your goal, you know? After that, you want to build your account as you want. If you are a PV player like I am, you prefer having six psionic and six strength and perhaps six dexterity. So potentially, the best way to build my account for PV, it's having two orange swords two purple swords and two blue swords so two purple two blue two uh, orange and all of these two having three gems of each so two orange swords with three gems each uh, of uh, orange could provide me 15 percent physical attack 15 percent energy attack and 2400 instant attack so you can have maximum PV stats. With the same way, if you build the other colors, you're getting energy damage reduction from the enemy. So the enemies are doing you less energy damage. Here, the enemies doing you less pierce damage. And here, the enemies gives you less physical damage. So all the other colors, the green, the... Uh, yellow and the red are providing you defensive stats so you don't you want to build defensive for defensive stats only for pvp of course or you can go hybrid and go for some pierce reduction and some physical attack some energy attack and some dexterity so the more you have uh the more three stars three gems you have here you know the more uh, little squares you're gonna complete. So if you manage to have this, uh, you know, more of this completed, if I had like three uh, blue here, uh, three purple here, three purple here, I had another three orange here, three orange here, and three blue here, I would potentially have uh, like one, two, three, four squares more here, and one square here. I hope I, I make you understand what you want to do for a perfect account, you know? And here, let's go to see what's my opinion, how you should go and do that. So as long as you start doing a sword, in the very start, it, you're getting some extra gems here, as you can see, 
and you can try manipulate the color. Uh, but these runes, it's not manipulating 100% the color, you know. Here it says 25% uh, chances to get uh, r green color. So I don't want this green color. I prefer this one, the generic one, and gives you only 16%. So what you want to do, you don't want to build all your swords uh, at once, uh, in the end, you know, you don't want to go full on your swords because these materials are, uh, you know, limited at the moment and you don't want to waste them. So, as long as you see the first gems of your sword, you should dismantle it for more runes. So, what I'm talking about, I want to build another orange sword, right? I'm going to do that here with you. Okay, oh, orange one. So, if you see your, your sword getting the colors you want in the first two, that means you have more chances to have a successful sword. So, in my opinion, do the first two, and if you get, if you want to build your swords for PvE, and you get an orange or a purple, keep enchanting it. If you don't get orange or purple, stop it and dismantle this sword. Uh, this is something, you know, uh, Alaska Light helped me a lot to... Uh, figure out how we could, uh, you know, take the maximum out of it. So here I'm pretty much effed up, you know. I took different colors here. Uh, so yes, doesn't uh, doesn't feel like I'm going to, for orange. Yeah. Okay, this is a bad sword, but let's use it as an example for... Uh, oh, here I took, uh, at the end, I took two orange. So... Because I have now two orange and two red, when I'm gonna press Awaken the sword, the sword is going to become the color uh, that uh, it's mostly, you know, it's mostly usual, it's going to be red or orange. And why? Because you have two red and two orange, and the sword can decide what color is it. So, depending on your chances, you could get a red sword or an orange sword. So, yes, let's see what I'm going to get here. Look at this. The Scarab or the Muramasa. So, depending, it says there is half chance for the one, half chance for the other. So, let's test our luck here. And, okay, I took the Red Sword. Because I took the Red Sword now, uh, I can't really go here, you know. I don't want to equip for Judgment. Because judgment decrease the pierce I'm taking, so I don't want to decrease the pierce I'm taking. I don't really care about PvP, you know, to go and manipulate this kind of stats. So this sword it's completely useless for me. The best way to use this sword at the moment, in my mind, you know, you can go there and dismantle it, and you're getting 16 of the runes back. Okay, you can do that or there is another option to change the options so depending on what you how was your luck on the last time here you can see i have concentration i mean there are really awesome stats here but you do, you can't really go and worry about them because it's so random at the moment so yeah let's try to reroll this sword here and you can see if you reroll that you can't manipulate the color of the gems. The color of the gems are in the start. You can't do anything about it. So the only thing I'm going to change is the extra stats here. So let's pretend I want to do that. And if you have something that you want to hold, let's say you feel like destruction increase, it's really uh, important for you. You're locking for crystals, like you're doing for cards and the crafted stats. So I don't want to hold anything of this. So let's try to see what I'm going to get. Okay, pretty much, I, I'm not sure. Yes, I took some poison damage. This is gonna be useful for my uh, Sadhu cell. But let's try to see other swords and what, how I can use, uh, you know, my materials here. Okay, another orange. I was, I'm really lucky at the moment. I want to have three oranges or three perp for, you know, to have the maximum attack stats at the end. Okay, two purple and one orange feels cool at the moment. Okay, feels like I'm not gonna get a third purple there. Okay, no. Mm. Oh my god. So this sword here, 
is going to be uh, when I'm pressing Awaken the Sword, this sword is going to be purple 100% because it has two purple gems. And you can see here, yeah, you're getting the purple sword. So, uh, do you do I like the purple sword I'm getting right now? I mean, it's exactly the same with the ones I have right now equipped. If you see, it's exactly pretty much pretty much it's the same depending on the stats. So, if I want the concentration here and I prefer it from the other stats, you want to equip that uh, because uh, look at this. I mean, this gives me instinct attack generally. Uh, nothing else special. This gives something special. No, but this one gives me also concentration. So I'm going to equip this one, uh, which is uh, this one. No, mm, this one. No concentration. Oh, uh, instinct attack. So yes. I'm going to equip this one and I'm going to get extra concentration on my characters. So the extra concentration I saw you in the extra stats down below, uh, what it gives you? Gives you gives to your characters concentration. As you can see here, this stats concentration is something that at the moment you could get only from your cards, crafting them red or uh, from from your cards or from your artifacts. There is artifacts giving you here concentration uh, through your um, instinct. I have some, but I need to find them. It's really rare in my account. I have really bad rerolls on my... All the artifacts here should be with concentration. These artifacts I have here, it's completely garbage. But yes, this one. This one provides you 2% concentration and some extra concentration and the concentration is that you use for your every single uh, mighty or brilliant CDP from Br CDP of Raids or whatever. So you want concentration. In my mind, you know, the best stat you could roll for your swords is this concentration uh, thing. Because 1.5%, if you have 1.5% on each of your sword, you can potentially have like 9% concentration. So your brilliant or mighty CDPs are going to charge really fast. They help you uh, charge the bar of the CDP. So let's go and see uh, what else I could build here. So the goal for me and my account, look at this. This is no orange or not purple. So I'm stopping that. I don't want to continue that because I already know there's no way I'm going to be that lucky getting three purple or three orange in a row. So I destroy it and I start again. I start again for a new sword. Let's see what I'm going to have right now. Okay, again blue. And a two blue in a row. Uh, okay, let's see. Blue, it's also cool because if I get a third blue now, I'm going to unequip the one I already have with two. Okay, this feels, oh my god, two reds also. Oh, three blue. So that's potentially what you want to do. Uh, because now with three blue, I can keep this. I, I know if I awaken that, I'm going to be, I'm going to have a blue sword right now. So potentially this blue sword could be for the perfect set, you know, I want to build on the swords. And now I have a two, so a sword with two that gives me lighting damage, double cooldown duration. This is really awesome. But I prefer equipping this. Look at this. So now you're going here to see how I'm going to build this. Because I made a sword with three gems. You saw my sword has three gems that I just crafted and the old one has two. So if I manage my swords, I come here, equip this instead of this, my dexterity going to be increased. So check this out. I'm going to equip this and yes, my dexterity indeed increased to 2400. The buff here went from 13 to 14 mastery. So if I manage to go and have three blue here, uh, I have three blue here, three blue here. So these two swords, the, the two blue ones are completed. I don't want any other blue swords to work on. So now I want to work on purple swords 
and orange swords. I want a second orange sword to have in my account so I can have more uh, physical attack. So the next sword I want to craft is a orange one and nothing else or a perfect uh, purple one with three gems instead of two gems because at the moment I have three different purple ones with uh, uh, how it's called okay two in a row so I have the orange I want okay no one third orange gonna save the day here but let's see no no so this sword potentially could be orange or red so let's see if we're gonna be lucky and get our orange okay I took the orange one but now I don't really want to equip this orange because it's either uh, if I equip the orange instead of one of the purple ones basically you know what I'm going to do that just to show you how this thing works you know uh, I'm going to unequip this one uh, which is uh, pretty basic you know it's not like a real good roll with an orange one and as long as I'm going to do that I'm going to increase, you know, I'm going to downgrade my purple and increase my strength. I'm going to keep the same mastery because the number of the gems I have, which fits with the same color of the swords, is not going to swap. So I have a sword with two purple gems that the sword itself is purple. And I'm going to swap into an orange sword with two of the gems being orange itself. So that's why I'm keeping the same mastery effect and I'm swapping two for two on strength with psionic. So this is gonna provide me a more balanced account and I'm going through, you know, um, if you go through my stats now, I have balanced my energy attack and my physical attack. I'm getting the all uh, basic attack 14% and the instinct it's 2400 so I don't want to make this video uh, goes for more but that's my first thoughts on the swords I feel like uh, they gonna to drop you know more expensive swords uh, or more materials that you can't be uh, you you can't go and pick them up you know as a free to play uh, but at the moment I feel like this system it's completely free to play and it's something that anyone Actually, anyone in the game can go there and build their account to see here. I took an orange on the second, so I have more chances to get more oranges later on. I feel like now I have two green, so oh, two orange. So potentially now if I get, oh, I don't have others. Yeah, I don't have others to work on this, but look at this. It's two orange, two green. So yes, I, if I go and play again this other world, I'm going to get more of these materials and I'm going to be able to work on my sword set even more. So yes, that's the first review for this sword. Basically, it was a dedicated guide because now you know how you should build your swords for PV or for PvP and now you, you know how you can manipulate these gems here uh, and the color of the sword. So if you have two or more gems in the same color when you're building your swords, the Enguaken sword is going to be the color that has the most gems. So you want to manipulate your swords having from the start the color you want to pick up. So if you want to build an orange sword, if the first uh, materials you're going to get when you're doing enchant your sword is not the color you like, you, you dismantle the sword. You dismantle the sword and you start working on the next sword. At the moment, uh, I don't believe like worth uh, work on these stats, you know. First of all, you need to work on the three gems on each sword. If you have the three gems on each sword, you can have your mastery. Two more here and two more here and it's going to be like 18. So yes, you want to work on, you want to gather a lot of materials, a lot of ruins, a lot of swords and try your luck to get three in the same of the same color every single time. That's your goal. That's my goal. Let's go into the sword system and the sword system basically and let's increase our stats. This is completely awesome. See you into the next. I hope I help you decide and let me know down below in the comments what swords you have equipped. Let me know like 
two purple, two orange and two blue with uh, mastery level 14. So I can figure out that you were lucky and you have like, like me, the two swords with three and the rest with two gems. So yes, work on your gems guys. See you into the next kisses in your faces.